see how this works. The heal of this. All right, so let's try it. Let's think and try it. Come on. There we go. Bada boom. With the bada bing. <laughs> All right, what we got in here? The heck do we got? Hey! All right, what's going on, Ape? What's going on, Karam? What's going on, Daniel Barry? Make sure y'all smash that like. Let's get it rolling. We are bike. About time. Had a week long copyright strike, but we're back, baby. <clears throat> and we're not slowing up now. Getting back on the roll. Yellow team versus yellow team? Oh, Pacers versus Lakers. Yeah. A little perp, yo, as it was just uh, announced that Halliburton is going to be back. So I'm going to update the thumbnail to make sure he's on there. He's on that thing. All right, let's make sure we've got the scoreboard looking nice and saucy, though. Let's take a look. What do we have? Contrast. Mada boom. Brightness. Mada bang. Blah, blah, blah. Saturation. Keep it smooth. Keep that smooth. Keep that smooth. Zero, zero. Yeah, yeah. Let's get those gammas down. Let's get these gammas down there. There we go. Bada boom. Oopsie. All right, y'all. How y'all been? We back? It's been a minute. Don't plan on missing a day again, man. We're going to go back, get back to going hard. Alrighty. Boy, he is tired. Let me get that caffeine in me. I right, will just put that there for now. Something like that. All Star Reserves getting announced tonight. Ooh, when's that happening? You seen Warriors collapse in the fourth? Uh, I I glanced at it since we couldn't stream for a week. I just wasn't really watching. Wasn't really tuned in. Took it as a time to do other stuff. <laughs> Start a new job, you know, other stuff to do. I appreciate y'all in here with me. Make sure y'all smash that like if y'all haven't yet. Let's get it rolling. We bike. All right, what do we got to do? We got to get we gotta get Ty Reese in the thumbnail. Ty is back to Reese tonight. No disrespect whatsoever, Miles Turner, but you can only hold down your spot in the thumbnail with no Halliburton out there. Respectfully. Soon as Ty is back to Reeson, you're out of here. All right, where's Ty Reese? Where you at, Ty? Oh, Ty is out there, Reeson. They were rolling the whole game in the fourth. And came around and they went cold, getting iso ball from Nas Reed. Yeah, Nas Reed goes crazy sometimes, man. I just, I did take the I took a look at the stat sheet. I saw some criticism of Curry on the on the comment sections I was looking at. Got to get Tyrese up in here. Still a W deal for Turner? For Miles Turner or for the Pacers to re-sign Miles Turner? I think it's a W for the Pacers. Did y'all know Miles Turner's only 26 years old? Am I the only one that feels like he's older than that? Or that felt like he was older than that? Like, he's still fairly young. Feels like he's been in the league for a while, but still only 26 years old. Good deal for them. So I was like, never really a reason that they had to trade him at all. Why, why they didn't? They were open to. Because they were open to do anything to get young uh, picks, assets, when they weren't doing well. And I, they probably assumed that teams would give up a huge haul for him. But evidently, the haul was never as big as they would have needed it to be. And so they kept him. Or they have kept him. That doesn't mean that they can't trade him still. You never know. Maybe he'll be in trade deal trade uh, rumors for five more years. One gun, don't get yourself banned, man. 
Appreciate the rest of y'all in here with me, though. Yeah, you felt like Turner was 30 exactly, like 28, 29, 30. But that's why I said my reaction to him getting re-signed. Like, he really fits their timeline. By the time, you know, ben ex Benedict and Tyrese get in their prime five, six years from now, he's still going to be 31, 32. Could be like their Brooke. You know, but got, Bucks got Brooke Lopez. Pacers got Miles Turner in that role if they ever build a championship level team. But Wes, same, same thing I said in my video, man. If you get one more star in there, that's all they need. One piece away. No, X Benedict, uh, Tyrese Halliburton, and Miles Turner as your best three. It could probably be a pretty good team. If you want to elevate to a championship level, yeah, you need to get a third guy, another guy in your top three. <laughs> You're a good one, Gun. I wasn't actually going to ban you. But come on now. Bulls most likely not trading Zach, maybe Debo and Vooch. But if they trade him, what do you think about teaming up with Dan? Well, why do you say they're not trading Zach Levine? Just because you don't want them to? All the rumors I've seen are that they are trading him, and I haven't seen as much for the other two players. I've seen all the teams look um been speaking to the Bulls about Zach Levine. I haven't seen as much about DeRozan and definitely not Vucevic. Maybe so. Maybe uh Levine doesn't get traded and Debo and Vucevic do, but I don't know where you thought we got that from other than you don't want that to happen. Hey, Mikey O, appreciate you returning to the show. <laughs> Make sure you give that like button a good smash. We are back. Kept us down for a week. We know what happened, but we're back. Tyrese is better than Westbrook. What a random, weird comparison. But yeah, right now, for sure. They said they aren't trading him. Who's they? They said they aren't trading him, referring to Zach Levine. Who the heck is they? Let's Google this. Zach Levine, because the only reports I, I uh, came across were that all these teams are calling him up. The Mavericks. Uh, I, I, I skimmed it. I, I just took a glance at the headline. Let's just Google Zach Levine and see what the news has been about him. Zach Levine, Lakers, Knicks, Heat, Mavs, likely suitors for Bulls trade. That's Bleacher Report. That's not, you know, some little rinky-dink blog. Zach Levine has no shortage of suitors for trade. Sports Illustrated has him on the cover of trades that are likely to happen. NBC Chicago. Reporting the same thing. I have not found a single report saying that the Bulls have said they're not trading him. I I don't think I think that's just wishful thinking. But you see, now you're just completely changing it. That's what I said originally. Yeah, I know. It's uh, we were originally you said the Bulls aren't trading him, but now you're saying, oh, if they do this, it's fine by me. I know you you might not want them to trade him, but. There's no reports that they've said, oh, we're not trading them. All the reports have said the opposite. Are we going to stream the Bucks? Woo! Tired. Are we going to stream Bucks game today? That is the plan. I'm not going to lie. Warriors Nuggets. Calling my name just a little. <laughs> just a little. That seems more fun, just to be honest. I don't particularly love watching the Clippers, but I think we're going to roll with the Bucks. Lakers favorite on the road. Wow, okay. I think the Lakers are kind of like your Cowboys in the uh, only of the NBA to where I think if Vegas think the Lakers are going to win by three, they'll say it's like a pickup. Like, I feel like they give them three points just because they know everybody's going to, not everybody, but there's just always going to be a ton of people betting the Lakers. So you skew the line even more. Uh, wait, more in their favor. That doesn't make sense. Wait, how does it work? How does betting work? But they always they the they said with the Cowboys that they would like overshoot them and over favor them. But does that make sense? I don't know, bro. I'm I'm exhausted, yo. Just started a new job this week. I can't get myself thinking too much about that. But sure, yeah, they are favored. Halliburton will have twenty five plus points in his return. Maybe 
He's a second year player, so maybe he's not going to be under that. Oh, like, oh, he just returned. We can't play it more than 20 minutes. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see about that. Okay, so they're going to be announcing if Drew Holiday made the All-Star team. And, of course, all the All-Stars are going to be announced. We will react live to that. I'll probably, yeah, I'll record that and drop a video as well. I'll react live to the report that I get as, you know, we're going to be watching Lakers versus Pacers over here. But as soon as that report comes out, the next commercial break, I'll give you my whole breakdown. Who got snubbed? Or maybe they get it perfect. We'll see. But as someone that's never been the biggest holiday season fan. Holiday season. The holiday season. So hoop de doo and victory doc. I've never been the biggest Drew Holiday guy, but I'm going to be tight if he doesn't get in this year. Did I postpone? Yeah, I didn't get my wisdom teeth out, man. Need these things out, but, you know, new job. We'll, we'll figure it out down the line. If, I mean, I'm fine, but if we get a good package from Zach Trade, I wouldn't mind it. I'm just saying they have said, oh, yeah, we shop in Zach now. LOL Bulls front office don't know what they want to do. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's any direction over there in Chicago. Let's see if we can get the people back in here. Probably gonna have to build back build back all the momentum we had. At the time, the National Basketball Association wanted to come through and just display unmitigated hate on me. But we're gonna get it back, get it back cooking. Last time they played, ooh, tie up Miles Turner. Missed the wide open catch and shoot three for the win. Then Nemhard hit the kick out three. Okay. Didn't really remember this. They got the rebound. Tyrese kicked it back out to Nemhard right before the buzzer. Okay. Do you remember that? Nemhard had like a really great like week or two, and then I feel like I haven't really heard from him. Maybe Pacers fans have kept up a little more and he's done stuff, but every time I've watched the Pacers since like that week where he cooked up the Warriors, I haven't seen you as much, even during the Hellburn ex absence. You know, thought maybe he'd start to see him step up and go off a little bit. Didn't really see that as much. Yep, that's why I just said ape. I did just say that. You did just hear those words out of my mouth. Appreciate you repeating them. Mm. Oh, man. Ready to get this going, y'all. Pull up, y'all. <clears throat> All right, I'll uh, be back. My bad. Remember when I said, what did I say? George Nian is the worst player in the NBA. What's my take on that now since he's still doing pretty good on the Sixers? Still? What do you mean he's still doing pretty good? He's doing good at what? What do you think he's doing good at? Yeah, I might have said like a year or two that he might be the worst player in the NBA and... Yeah, I feel like at the time that probably wasn't so far off. And I still feel like he's pretty terrible. But he's probably shooting threes fairly effectively. Let me look. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, he's shooting threes well. He proved all of us wrong, did he? He was god-awful when they made the playoffs last year. Eh. He's not really... No, I mean, he shoots threes kind of well. But, I mean, his PR stinks. Doesn't really get a sin. I mean, he's okay. He hits threes. I'll give him that. I haven't watched the Sixers a ton this year. He was good in college, and, you know, he's just been super slow in the NBA. Maybe he's developed enough defensively to not be a huge liability. But I need to see him hitting those threes in a big game. So I was watching him in the playoffs, and boy, was he terrible. 
I believe for a couple years now with the Sixers and with the Jazz before that. Still remember them playing over Grayson Allen, Gray Goat, and being tight. But, you know, turns out I guess they've both been decent role players. But yeah, he's definitely not the worst player in the NBA. You know, I used to think two years ago, I thought Grant Williams was one of the worst. I thought, like, George's knee was just, like, okay at shooting threes and god awful at defense and pretty much everything else. And I thought Grant Williams was, like, you know, pretty good defensively, but god awful on the entire offensive side of the floor. But Grant Williams has developed in. Even Gorgeous Georges has developed a little. Hey, appreciate you returning, Gary. Yeah, Lando, you know. You've been in here for a minute. You know what we've talked about. You know the vibes. But, yeah, man, I'm glad to be back, bro. Had to take a week off. You know, it was strike season. But we back now. Got to try and build up that momentum we had at the time that we lost with the strike. And I appreciate y'all in here with me. Dang, y'all. All right. Like I said, we're going to have to get that momentum back because we were cooking right before they wanted to stinking give us that damn strike, man. But I appreciate y'all in here with me as we try and get it back cooking. Mm -mm -mm. Hopefully we can, man. Just got to stay consistent again. YouTube algorithms are a crazy thing, bro. Worst Pro Bowl last couple of years, Hundley, Money, Mitch, or Mac Jones? Hundley. I mean, Mac Jones stinks. Mitch Trubisky actually had a good year. And Mac Jones actually kind of had an okay year. And like, how did it even happen where Tyler Hundley got in? He was awful. And he was a backup. He wasn't even good for a backup. Yeah, Lando knows. Like, Mitch at least, like... Had good, like, he had Pro Bowl numbers that year. Mac Jones, no, he never was a top three quarterback in his conference, not numbers-wise, not anything, but his numbers were okay, and he was there because, you know, nobody wants to play in the Pro Bowl. How they got all the way down to Huntley just confirmed that the Pro Bowl needs to be absolutely done, done with because it means nothing. A mediocre backup got it. A mediocre at best backup. It's like the NBA dunk contest at this point where they've got G-leaguers doing it. Nobody wants to watch all that. Nobody trying to watch that, man. that point let Russ play yeah true true I mean yeah like how did Huntley there's probably like let me look up AFC like AFC teams like pretty much every team has a quarterback that makes more sense than Tyler Huntley other than maybe like I don't know maybe the Jets but I could name a million quarterbacks before I got to him give me you know Josh Allen who didn't want to play I didn't even take it's stupid. I mean, he was awful, but I'll even take Mac Jones over him. Like, he at least played the whole season, or most of the season. Tyler Huntley played, like, half the season and played terribly, or at least played very poorly. I don't even know if he played. I don't even think he played half the season. Derek Carr ended up getting in. I'll even take Pickett over him. I'll take Jacoby Brissett over him. I'll take Tannehill over him. But I don't know, man. I guess maybe they were just like, yeah, he did okay in the playoff game. And, you know, probably Josh Allen doesn't want to play. And I don't even know. It's it's him, Herb, I mean, it's him, Carr. And then I don't know if, if, who the third is. Is it Herbert? 
Oh, it's Lawrence. So I guess Herbert didn't want to do it. Josh Allen wouldn't do it. My homeboy's in the Super Bowl. I don't know, man. But we're about to get out to this Lakers and Pacers. Car is playing from what I saw. Yeah, Jacoby was decent. To say the least. He was at least decent. All right, y'all. Can we get this thing going? We'll see. We shall see, man. First day back from the strike. Try and get those algorithms back on our side. Appreciate you'll be in here with me. Holiday made the all-star team? I need to see these all-star announcements, man. Once they all come in, I'm going to give you all my reaction. Wait, I'm going to record my reaction. Yeah, give us the list. Drop the list in the chat. I'm looking right now online. So far, I'm not seeing anything. I'm Google. I'm searching it. Searching it up. Tyrese Halliburton is an all-star. Bam Adena Bayou is an all-star. Jalen Brown is an all-star. Lando DeMar DeRozan is an all-star. Orange Julius is an all-star. Mm, those doesn't look great for Brunson. Bam Adebayo is. I already said that. Hmm. Joel Embiid made the All-Star Reserves. That might be about it in the East. Drew Holiday, of course. I can confirm what Mikey Min said, and Drew Holiday is an All-Star. Holiday season. The holiday season. So hoop de doo and dickory doc. Man, it's about time. I would never have it for the past years. It was middies. It was Midi, it was Midi and Giannis in Milwaukee, but this year, Drew has stepped up with Midi out pretty much the entire season. And with Giannis out a good chunk of it too. Orange Julius deserves it. I'll be honest. Maybe I need to take another look at the numbers. And this is not like any bulls hate any in me, but I don't know if DeMar DeRozan deserves it. I could make a case for I almost feel like maybe Jalen Brunson over him. Is that crazy? Jalen Brunson's giving him over 20 a game very efficiently on a win team with a winning record. Oh. Def Debo is definitely better. I don't know. Has he had a better year? Let me look at their numbers. Let's take a look. It's close. I'll give you that. It's close. I'm not sure. Jalen Brunson just dropped 37 on the Lakers. Mm. Shooting 40% from three, 47 from the field, 23 and six a game. Now let's go over to DeMar. We say it the less we like it, DeRozan. Three more points a game. A little bit better field goal percentage, a lot worse three point percentage, less assists, a little more rebounds. Yeah, I'm taking Brunts over DeRozan for the All Star, honestly. Yep, we just we reacted to all of them right now, Karam. I agree with all of them other than a slight disagreement, very slight, where I would prefer Brunson over. Oh, I would deserve, oh, Harden over DeRozan then. Oh, yeah, I don't, I'm the biggest Harden hater out there. Or maybe not the biggest, but I'm a pretty big Harden hater. And, yeah, put him over DeRozan. How, what? Are you because he missed some games? I don't, Harden should be in over DeRozan. Yeah, I forgot about him too, yeah. That just gets rid of the uh, Brunson to, um, DeRozan argument. Because I am not a hardened guy, but he should have been in over here, DeRozan. All right. The passing he's been doing, basically ever since he left the Rockets, has been underrated. When he was with the Nets, and he had to be the third fiddle between Kyrie and uh, KD and just distribute them the ball. He did a great job with that, and he's doing a great job feeding them beat on those pick and rolls. As we're getting this game going, y'all, let's get it popping. Ugh, what the heck is happening here? As Miles Turner launches a three, no good. Ugh, what the heck? Oh, he's thinking of justice. There we go. All right, Denny Shrewd's over to AD. Let's go, y'all. Back to LeBron on the baseline. Let's 
Let's get it, y'all. Buddy Heel to the rim. Nobody wants to stop ball. Anthony Davis with some pretty lazy defense at the rim. And Buddy Heald lays it on in. Now we got Patrick Beverly coming off the pick and roll. He's going to try and kick that out, but he just throws it out of bounds. Back to the Pacers. All right, in Indiana, Tyrese Halliburton back out there, back starting for these Pacers. Let's go, y'all. We here. Appreciate y'all in here with me. Make sure y'all smash that like if you haven't yet. Back after a week break due to a copyright strike. Now we're back on our stinking grind. No, wait. How would Who would Garland get in over? Darius Garland? Who the heck are you putting Darius Garland over? You want to draw to get in. So how do you expect Gar Darius Garland to get in? He's like the maybe the third person that didn't make it that I put in. But I'm not taking three dudes that did make it off. I'm taking one dude that made it off. Not taking him over Harden or uh, Brunson, who all both didn't make it. Halliburton? No, you're nuts. And even if he would take him over Halliburton, I'm taking Brunson over Garland. As Dennis Drew gets the rim, hits Anthony Davis at the elbow, takes a dribble in, and his floater's no good. See if Anthony Davis can get back to that level he was playing at before he got hurt, which was the highest level he'd played at in a good two years, maybe three years. Now coming off an injury, we're still waiting to see if he can get back to that, where he was dropping like 40 and 20, it felt like every night. As Braun over to shoot on the wing, drives into the paint. Back out to Rui Hachimura, who got the start today. Rui over to Braun Braun. Braun Braun guarded by Buddy Heald. Braun Braun turns and faces. Braun Braun jabs. Braun Braun to the rim. Braun Braun smokes the lefty lay. Ugly right there. Buddy Heald bring it up. Over to Ty. Ty, the newly announced All-Stars. No good on that three. In and out, no burger. Braun with it now. Braun over to Anthony Davis. A. Disney with the ball. Guarded by Miles Turner. Slips with the ball. Falls down with it. Anthony Davis back out to Patrick Beverly. P. Bevs, top of the key. Driving inside. Over to Anthony Davis, who launches the mid-range, but his jumper is... Ugh. Gone by the wayside. No good. Still zero points for the Lakers over two minutes in this one. Halliburton on the wing. Takes the screen. Over to Buddy Heald. Oh, St Rui Achimura gets that weak side pass in those lanes like Tory Hits Dennis Schroeder transition. Trying to lob it up to LeBron and said, LeBron said, listen, I'm 38. The game just started. I am not going up trying to jam that thing. Let's just go out of bounds. As the Pacers push up the floor quickly, the Lakers are too slow to get back on defense. Miles Turner got into the rim, throws it down. And the Lakers, about three minutes of the game, still have zero points. Anthony Davis, out to Rui. Rui over to LeBron, wide open, top of the key. But that's a big brick. Dennis Schroeder with the long rebound to the rim. Drops off to Anthony Davis, who takes the bump and floats it on in. Floating is good. Hellboy in his bucket, great passer and solid defender. Brunson and Harden also better this year. Yep. Lando and I have the same take. You're saying they, they're better than Garland, right? They're not, not that they're better than Halburn. If so, we got the same take. I'm gonna keep my eyes out to see when the Western All-Stars are announced. Keep the my eyes out. As Halliburton with the rock. Takes a screen for Miles Turner. Drives straight to the rim. Nobody steps in front to stop that ball. Scoops it on in. Give him a little ice cream with that lefty scoop. All right. Braun Braun over to Pete Bevs on the wing. Patrick Beverly. Lobs into Rui. Hachimura. One dribble takes that little short pull up in the paint. Okay, Rui. I like his fit with this Lakers team. I'm kind of jealous as a Bucks fan. Could have told me. Give up three second round picks. And a meaningless player, I don't know, George Hill, Jordan Nawara for him. I'm taking that. As Miles Turner catches and stripped of the ball, taken to the strip club. Rui Achimura flubs it, and then Braun picks it up and throws it back out to Anthony Davis. A Disney over to Braun, over to Rui Achimura. Rui, jab, pump fake, driving baseline. Rui trying to bully Neesmith, and wild finish, no good at the rim. 
Halliburton bringing it up. Over to Nemhard. Nemhard to the rim. To the corner to a wide open buddy. And you got to heal those words. Puts him up 9-5. All right, let's get it going, y'all. Denny Schroot's trying to dance top of the key. Takes a screen from A. Disney. Dennis Schroeder crossover to the rim. Hits Anthony Davis on the roll. Smokes the floater, but then he gives him the tip. Tips it on back in. Makes it 7 9. All right, Tyrese with the ball. Tween. Takes a screen from Miles Turner. Steps behind it. Launches the three. The newly named All Star Tyrese. Tyrese puts him up 12 7 here. P. Bev's on the wing for the Lake Show. P. Bev's driving inside. P. Bev's whirling around. Hits Anthony Davis on the cut. And okay, now Anthony Davis starting to get going. I want to see, can he get back to that pre-injury level he was at? No worries, Harrison Barnes. I appreciate you coming coming through. Make sure you smash that like button, man. We on commercial right now. Let's get it. All right. A reminder of the All-Stars named in the Eastern Conference. Uh, I'm trying to find the list somebody put in the chat so I don't have to look it up myself again. Somebody put the list, I thought. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. I thought somebody in the chat put it. Hey, we are back after the copyright strike. Appreciate you coming through, Chucky M. Yeah, make sure you smash that like, my man. How you feeling? How you been? Drew is the number one trending on Twitter right now. Very well deserved for Drew Holiday. All right. So the all-star reserves in the East. Embiid, I don't know how the heck he made it. No, nah, I mean, he's the obvious one. DeRozan, he's the one I disagree with. I'll tell you all for who. Jalen Brown, deserved. Deserved. I, you could maybe make an argument, but it's not a great one for anybody else. Bam Adebayo, definitely deserved. Drew Holiday, absolutely deserved. Orange Julius, deserved. And then Tyrese Halliburton. My one problem with the list is I'm personally giving Harden over DeRozan. I would even take Brunson over DeRozan. But my my reserves would probably be the same exact thing, only sub out DeRozan, throw in Harden. I could talk myself into Brunson for either his teammate Julius Randle or Tyrese Halliburton. But no, I think they got the rest right. Brunson's had a great year, but I think he's ju- he's the one guy that ha- has to get snubbed. Harden's the one that realistically like di- shouldn't have gotten left out. He shouldn't have been snubbed. It was a true snub. Hey, appreciate you, Harrison Barnes. Make sure you smash that like, man. Keeping our eyes out for the Western Conference All-Stars to be named. So I can record a little reaction ad. Okay, Jaron Jackson. All-star. I don't think I agree with that. I have to see who gets left off. But my gut tells me he's been out too long and he's way too consistent in terms of getting foul trouble and dumb stuff like that when he is playing. So Boner has been named an all-star in the West. Absolutely deserves it. Like if Jaron Jackson was in the East, he would not be even like one of the top three dudes snubbed. Lori Markin has been named an all-star. Well deserved. John Moritz, of course. John Mo. Jaron Jackson, like I said, seems like some ridic- some bull jive. Shea Gillis Alexander definitely deserves it. All right, so far, who's been left off of the West that needs to be in? Because I don't think I have all of the, the whole list yet. Let me know, y'all. I'm looking, I'm looking. As we're back to the game. All right. We'll keep y'all updated. But let me know if y'all think anybody was left off of the list I just said. All right, Tyrese near half court, guarded by Denny Shrewds. Ty swings over to Buddy Heald. Buddy Heald, guarded by Westbrook, just came off the bench, launched the three over him, no good. Two have been rumored to possibly be traded for each other, essentially. As Westbrook, top of the key, driving on in, lobs up to Anthony Davis, who's got, I believe, nine of their 11 points? Might be a little off, but I think that's right. As Tyrese Halbert just walks it up and puts up the deep three. No good, though. Braun Braun with the rebound. Braun Braun lobs it up into Rui Achimura, who gets that shot blocked at the rim by the newly signed Miles Turner. Halbert pushes to the rim. To the corner to a wide open Neesmith. And it's nothing but net. Neesmith in the corns. 
eats on that corn on the cob. Puts him up 15-11. Braun Braun with the ball. Takes the stagger stream screen and just pulls up for three, top of the key. Braun Braun puts him back within one. Pacers going quick right here. Push up the floor, throwing it back to Miles Turner, who takes him to the trailer park. Trailing right there for that top of the key three. Western Conference Reserve announced. Okay, I, I announced like the first few of them. Give me the entire list so I can react to who was left off. Okay, I've got the list here now. Okay, who was left off though? Jaron Jackson's definitely the one that like him and Paul George. If somebody's left off, oh Anthony Edwards was left off. Jaron Jackson and Paul George over Anthony Edwards is crazy. As Russell Westbrook tries the one dribble pull up mid range and it's good. First bucket for him off the bench today. Anybody else left off? As Halliburton driving inside. So it's out to Miles Turner. Over to Neesmith. Neesmith, one dribble, three. Tricky Trey, his second three of the day. Aaron Neesmith pulls up for the top of the key three. I've been saying it for a couple years. I've liked Aaron Neesmith. Never really got much of a shot in Boston, but I liked him in the little spurts I saw. As a top of the key three, no good for Anthony Davis, who, for some reason, just completely lost his jumper in the last couple of seasons. As Halliburton drives into the paint, floats it up over Anthony Davis, and in. Anthony Davis, so far, not looking very interested in playing defense. Oh, Andy Aaron Fox. Okay, those two both deserve it over Paul George and Jaron Jackson. Anybody else y'all think was snubbed in the West? Or could have been snubbed in the West? As Russell Westbrook pull up three, or... Catch and shoot three, top of the key, no good. Halliburton into the paint. Pull up, mid-range J, no good, but tip back by Miles Turner off the new deal. Working hard out there. Miles Turner, over to Halliburton, spinning on shooter. Puts up the floater right in his chest, and he's got it to drop to mm, drop. And the Pacers up double digits now. Timeout Lakers, 27-16. All right. So, I'm with uh, Lando that Ant-Man and De'Aaron Fox are the two snubs in the West. Is there anybody else? Anybody else that was left out in the West that could have made it? I know, Karam. I'm trying, I'm trying to see, is there anybody we're forgetting that maybe could have made it in the West that was left off? I want to make sure I got the people I think deserve to make it right. So in the East, I'm taking Harden over to Rose. And let me look at Harden's numbers, though. Harden, da da da. Giving you a couple less points, way more assists, 45 a game, 40% from three. Yeah. Went much more winning team. Fox was snubbed. Yeah. Yeah, Paul George and Jaron Jackson did not deserve to make it. Should we drop a reaction video to this? Gotta have all the stats up, though. All right. So let's look up DeMar DeRozan's stats. We'll have it for next commercial break. Gotta have them all. Don't think DeMar DeRozan should have made it. Think he should have been replaced with James Harden. I'm surprised they left James Harden out. Normally the dude, if it's close, the dude with the bigger like, name, bigger star power is going to get in. So I wouldn't think that James Harden would be someone that would be left off. I would not think that he'd be someone to get snubbed. Excuse me. Sorry, y'all. All right, Jaron Jackson Jr. stats, Paul George stats. Got to make sure we get all the players up in here. We know what we're talking about. Can't be talking out our cheeks because it definitely doesn't feel like Paul George deserved to make it. Like, that's a dude that I would say, all right, they're going to give it to the big name, the dude that's been doing it for a long time, even if he doesn't deserve it right now. And that's why Paul George would get in, but then it doesn't make sense when you've got James Harden being left off the East. I was like, well, how the heck did this happen? Are we going based off of just this year? 
What are you taking your career into account? Taking career into account, then you better get James Harden in there. As we're getting back to this Lakers and Pacers, y'all. Appreciate y'all in here with me. Darren Fox. And last one is Anthony Edwards. All right. Russell Westbrook with the ball for the Lakers. Crossover into the paint. Westbrook back to Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis in the post, guarded by Daniel Tice out there for the Pacers. Spins, baseline, puts up the floater. No good, but they call foul. Two free throws coming up for Anthony Davis now. Looking at Anthony Edwards' stats, making sure we're all accurate on the people we think should be making the All-Star game. All right, yeah, he's giving you 25 and almost five assists. Paul George gets you about 23 points, five assists. How many games has Paul George played in? And way less games. Yeah, no. He shouldn't have made it. And Jaron Jackson Jr. Oh, he's played in 35 games this year. 27 minutes per game. Giving you 16 points a game. His defense has been great when he's been out there. But... I don't know. They did okay when he wasn't there. And they haven't been able to keep that great defense without Stephen Adams. So, not saying Stephen Adams is as good as him, but I don't know. It's not worth him making it with the few games he played with De'Aaron Fox and Anthony Edwards not making it. All right, Pacers ball, though. O'Shea Burst out on the wing. Over to TJ McConnell. Driving in on Westbrook. Pulls up for that short classic TJ McConnell jumper, and he's got it. Little seven-foot pull-up right there for TJ. Knocks it down. All day. Westbrook pulls up for the mid-range baseline, Jay, and he's got it too. Right over eggs Benedict Mathurin. Back to a single-digit game. McConnell. Handy to eggs Benedict, right back to him. Benedict Mathurin. Has Anthony Davis on the switch. Eggs Benedict. Tween. That pulls up for three over AD. Oh, and it bounces all around, and then it... Mm, drop! Drops right in. Rim, backboard, rim, rim, and then goes in. As Lakers push up the court quickly, not waiting, wasting any time right there as Lonnie Walker challenges Daniel Tice at the rim, trying to boom it on his head. Foul called. Dog's no good. He tried it. Two free throws coming up here. Pascal should have been an all-star over who? Over who? Julius Randle? I don't think so. Pascal's had a really good year, but his team's been stanking. I would take him over DeRozan, but I'd also take like three or four dudes ahead of ahead of DeRozan as well, and I would take at least like two or three dudes over Siakam. Siakam this year. He's giving you great sticking numbers, but I don't know. I I I'd, I'd still take James Harden over him. With the job he's done passing, averaging eleven assists a game on, I believe, the number two team in the East at the moment. Let me double check that. Uh, second free throw for Lonnie Walker is no good. Lonnie Walker back for the Lakers now. All right, TJ McConnell driving inside. That time he can't finish, and it's a foul called on the Lakers, fighting for the rebound. The Sixers at the moment are back to the three seed, a half a game behind the Bucks. But either way, top three seed in the East, I think James Harden should have gotten it. Giving you 11 assists a game. That pick and roll with him and Embiid is nasty. Has he got enough credit for his passing since he uh, left the Rockets? As Benedict Mathurin, ex Benedict on the wing. Over to Chris Duarte. Duarte being hounded by Patrick Beverly pulls up for the three. Big brick, right out of bounds, back to the Lakers. Do I know the West All Stars? Yes, we do. Gonna react to all that, record it as I'm doing it next commercial break. But I'll say it right now Jaron Jackson, Paul George did not deserve to make it. Russell Westbrook with the ball. Crossover. Into the paint. Guarded by TJ McConnell. Puts up the short jumper and nothing but air on that ball. Now TJ McConnell with it. To the corner to O'Shea Brissett. O'Shea. Bringing it back to Duarte. Duarte. Over to X Benedict. X Benedict takes a screen. X Benedict in the paint. X Benedict puts up the floaty. No good. Rebounded by my man. 
that 585 man, Thomas Bryant. Patrick Beverly throws it back to Thomas Bryant, top of the key for three, and he's still shooting over 40. Thomas Bryant off the bench now. Hey, appreciate you, Mikey O. As Daniel Tice catch and shoot, top of the key three. Oh, I also have some very interesting news to tell you on next break. As Patrick Beverly into the paint. Drops off to Troy Brown, who finishes with a scoop at the rim. Give him a little ice cream with that scoop. Troy eats the brownie right there with his ice cream. Timeout called now. All right, so I'm about to record my all-star reaction to all to what I think should have been different and all that. But what I will say real quick is I started teaching. I think I told some of y'all I was going to start teaching on Tuesday. And somebody came up to me at my school, a student, and told me he watches me on YouTube. His name is Mason. Is this is that this guy? We'll have to wait until this guy gets back in the chat. But he told me he watches me on YouTube. It was very, very interesting to me. I don't feel like, you know, it's not that big of a channel. So it was pretty crazy to me that a kid at the school I'm working at happens to watch me. It probably is, Lando. It probably stinking is. I didn't ask him. He just came up to me at the time. I didn't even ask him his name originally. I was just like, what? Wow. All right, let me record my reaction to the All-Stars being announced first. All right, let me make sure you've got the list. Okay, we do. So as we're watching this Pacers and Lakers game, the All-Stars have been announced, and let me quickly give y'all my take. In the East, they announced Embiid, DeRozan, Jalen e, Jalen Brown, Bam out of the Bayou, Drew Holiday. Holiday season. The holiday season. So hoop de doo And Dickory Doc. Orange Julius, Tyrese Halliburton were all stars. And Embiid, W obviously should have been in. Jalen Brown, yep, can't really argue that. Number one team, number one team, number two guys played great. Bam out of bio, not arguing that. Drew Holiday definitely deserved it when you look at Drew Holiday and the season he's had. And I've never been the biggest Drew Holiday guy. Even as a Bucs fan, as in this Lakers game, Patrick Beverly's taking a charge right now. But even as a Bucs fan, I've never been the biggest Drew Holiday guy. I've never really been on a, as, on a huge part of that bandwagon of, you know, get Drew in the All-Star game. I felt like, no, it's been Giannis and K-Mitty. Eh, I've never been the biggest Drew Holiday guy. But this year, with K-Mitty being out almost the entire time, Giannis missing a bunch of games, this year, Drew, Drew has really stepped up and played the best basketball I've ever seen from him as Westbrook is getting fouled at the rim over here. So Drew Holiday definitely deserved it. I'm taking him over Brunson. I'm taking over Garland, the guys that didn't make it. He definitely deserved it. Orange Julius, not mad at that. I mean, there's a case to be made for Rich Yalcum, but then if you leave both Knicks guys out, that's a problem, so I'm not mad at that. And the Tyrese Halliburton also made it, and I'm not mad at that. So what am I mad at? That? Mad at. There's one player I don't think should have made it. There's three candidates. Off the top of my head, that I would say, there's a good case they should for them to have made it. There's Brunson, there's Pascal Siakam, and then there's James Harden. And I'm saying DeRozan should have been out of there, and James Harden should have been in there. Another guy, I've never been a James Harden guy at all. I never liked the way he played. I hate how he draws foul or how he's always drawn fouls. I hate how he just not I hate, but. I acknowledge that he doesn't show up in every big moment he's ever been in, but he almost hasn't gotten enough credit for the passer he's became or that he's really been in terms of being a pass first guy. As TJ McConnell, it's a three top of the key. Being a pass first guy ever since he left the Rockets, whether it was being distributed with KD and Kyrie and just feeding them the rock. And this year, averaging 11 assists a game. When you look at James Harden, he's on the number three seed right now in the East. At the time they voted, he was probably the number two seed, giving you. 22 a game, 21 a game, 11 assists, six and a half rebounds, and running the best pick and roll combo in the league with him and Embiid. As Westbrook throws it up to Thomas Bryant, he's fouled with two seconds to go in the first quarter. With James Harden, I just think that I'll take that over DeRozan, whose team is wildly underachieved. I believe at the moment still isn't even in the stinking play-in game. Let me double-check that right here. Last I checked, there was, yeah, he's the 11 seed. He wouldn't even make the play-in game. He gives you a couple more points less efficiently and he gives you about six less assists, not about, I think, exactly six less assists, two less rebounds, much worse team. Give me Harden over him. And Brunson had an all-star type of year. Siakam had a 
even maybe even statistically more than all-star type of year. But the East is so talented, it's hard for me to argue anybody else not making it. My big beef is that DeRozan stinking made it. Uh, I think James Harden should have made it over him. In the West, I have maybe even burger beef. I have my problems with the West is Jaron Jackson and stinking Paul George making it. Paul George, if the West came out first and I didn't know about the East, I would say, you know what? He's been in the league for a decade doing his thing. When in doubt, they're going to be going to the guy that you know what he gives you. He's been here. He's done that. His name is solidified. But when you leave James Harden out of the East, that tells me, F all that. Paul George. In 37 games this season, 37, remember that, 23 points per game, five assists, six rebounds. Not bad numbers. Not bad. But then you consider you've got 54 games, that's almost, I won't say twice as many, but that's 17 more games for Anthony Edwards. 25 points a game, more points. By the same assist, 4.6, 6.1 rebounds. Same. A little bit better points. A little bit, uh, about the same rebounds and assists. Field goal percentage, 46% to Paul George's 46. So statistically, they're essentially the same guy. A couple more points for Anthony Edwards. Paul George wins, uh, his team wins a lot more, but he has more around him. Arguably. But 17 more games, to me, it should have been Anthony Edwards because I think we reward the guys that have actually been out there when it's that big of a gap. And then you got to say Jaron Jackson. He's played a total of, this season, 35 games to De'Aaron Fox's 47. That's 12 more games. And giving you 16 a game, almost seven rebounds. I know it's not just the best idea to just look at counting numbers, but De'Aaron Fox, what they've done in Sacramento, and the fact that Jaron Jackson... They were okay without him. It's not like, you know, when he wasn't playing at the beginning of the season, they were god-awful. They they were staying afloat. Yes, they went on a huge winning streak when he came after he came back a little bit. But then they also went on a losing streak with him there, too. So he's only played in 35 games. He's not out there in a lot of the big moments because he can't stop from getting in foul trouble. So in the East, in conclusion, I'm taking Harden over DeRozan all day long. And in the West, I'm taking Jaron Jackson and Paul George out of there and put in Foxy and Ant-Man in there. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, and then subscribe, please. Yes, sir. All right, had to record that, y'all. Yeah, it's got to be, y'all. That's crazy, isn't it? Man, my man, Mason. Never knew that was how he said it. Let's see if he ever gets back in the chat. I'll ask about it. I'll ask him next time I see him in school. But no, he showed the other kids in the class, and they were all trying to watch the old Bear Low show. All right, back to the second quarter, though. Westbrook with the ball. Westbrook with it, guarded by TJ McConnell. It's Braun and the paint, pub fake, and then the easy wide open lay. All right. It's looking like early maybe the Pacers could pull away with this one. I'm double digits very quickly, but no. Nah, Lakers aren't going to let that happen. Kuzma, Kyle Kuzma. Eggs Benedict. Over to Neesmith. Neesmith over to Halliburton. Halliburton over to Neesmith, who's got another catch-and-shoot three. He's got three threes already today. Neesmith, that catch-and-shoot is looking smooth. Puts him up six. Westbrook with the ball. Drops up to the baseline. But Patrick Beverly over to LeBron, top of the key, guarded by Eggs Benedict. Benedict Mathurin, who said he didn't really believe LeBron was better than him before the season. Westbrook driving baseline and travels before he puts the ball on the floor. Back to the Pacers. Remember, Benedict Mathur had said before the game, LeBron's going to have to show me he's better than me. Let's see. Let's see what Bron Bron, Bron shows tonight. He's got to prove himself to Benedict Mathurin. As Miles Turner over to Tyrese Halliburton, and he loses the ball. Patrick Beverly comes up with it, throwing ahead to Tommy B. Thomas Bryant finishes with a jam at the other end. Give him a little peanut butter with that jam. Halliburton. Over to McConnell. Hits Miles Turner under the rim. Jump stop and floats up and, up and in off glass. As Braun Braun to the corner. P. Bevs. P. Bevs driving inside. Pump fake. Puts up the little hook floater, and he's got it. P. Bevs makes it a four-point game. Neesmith and Cam Reddish, I'll never give up on Neesmith. Been decent this year. 
Yeah, I've I've always been a Neesmith guy, and I've never been a Cam Reddish guy. I haven't. Uh, I haven't really seen anything from Cam Reddish other than his hype out of high school, and the fact that I guess he looks like he has potential, but I haven't seen it in terms of his play. So, never bought in on that one. As Halliburton drives inside, throws it back out to Eggs Benedict, and ooh, way off on that three with Patrick Beverly closing out on him. Three, it's nothing but backboard. As Braun Braun backing on Benedict, backing in, fading away right there. Oh, he's trying to show him he's better than him. Fade away, Jay, nothing but net right there on that smooth day for Braun Braun. Tyrese Halliburton tries to pull up over Ta Thomas Bryant, but it's blocked. Westbrook turns it right back over to the Pacers, though. Throws it back to Halliburton. Pacers with the ball. And Smith driving inside on Westbrook, and Westbrook hacks him. Looks like he might have been active shooting, or may they may call it on the floor. We'll see. So he's driving towards the rim. Was an 18 All-Star. Missed a ton of games. Um, I don't think... Maybe he could have made over the people that did make it, but... Maybe that's something I should have mentioned in my All-Star reaction, but... I don't even know if I'm going to drop this reaction. We'll see. Might need another break to be able to come up with a thumbnail and everything. Maybe I'll do that at halftime. I don't know. That'll be too late. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna drop this. Got to get back to cooking. All right, Pacers ball up too. Miles turn on the wing. Swings over to Halliburton. Halliburton throws into the paint to Miles Turner. Little short J over Thomas Bryant. Got it to drop. Miles Turner, man, coming off that extension, and he's coming out open, playing hard. Westbrook with the walk. Rock. Top of the key. Being sagged off. Now he pulls up for three. Sagged off for a reason. They'll sack off, and they don't really believe he's going to swag off. As Halliburton hits Miles Turner with a no-look dime cut into the rim, and Miley Turney lays it in. P. Bevs with the rock on the wing. Takes the screen from Thomas Bryant. Over to LeBron Braun. LeBron James. LeBron James. Pulls the three off the screen, and that's another big brick rebounded by Neesmith. Halliburton catches in the corner and closeout block from Patrick Beverly in the corner, who then chirps a little bit. All right, Lakers ball. Westbrook with it. Back in on Neesmith. Back in the post. Stepping through to the paint. Little short jumper is bricked. Rebounded by the Pacers. All right, Halliburton over to TJ McConnell. McConnell driving inside. McConnell whips it back out to Miles Turner for the catch and shoot three. Oh, Miley. Miles Turner hyped up in Indiana. Forced the Lakers to use a timeout right there. Appreciate y'all in here with me. What y'all going for today? How y'all feeling? Might need to get some more uh, scoreboards on the screen. Make sure y'all hit that like if y'all haven't yet, though. Let's get it going, y'all. I greatly appreciate y'all and you're with me. Trying to get that momentum back after we got a weak ban due to a stinking copyright strike. But anybody else have a... What, what are y'all thoughts on the All-Star uh, announcements, y'all? Y'all agree with me? Disagree? Personally, in the East, my only problem was DeRozan shouldn't have made it. James Harden should have. In the West, get Paul George out of there. Get Jaron Jackson out of there. Put in Fox and Anthony Edwards. What does y'all take? Do y'all think those are the, the right changes? Do you think there should have been more changes, less changes? Other people should have been in? Talk to me, y'all. What do y'all think? Pacers getting it done. They're a fun team, man. They're just one piece away. One piece away from having a real contending young core, or young core that could be a contender eventually. Right now, they still have a really good squad, but I think they need one more, like, star piece. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry, y'all. Inexcusable. 
Mm-mm-mm. Oh, this has been so dry lately, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. You agree Paul George shouldn't be in there? Yeah. Jaron Jackson, I feel like, might even be more blasphemous. I think that's the most blasphemous dude to have made it. Wait, what's the word? Is this uh what's the word? Ah, I can't even I don't even know if I can describe it. Oh, this is satire. The playing chair Jackson then. Try to think of what I should put for the thumbnail. Maybe I might just say, is this a joke? Put Jaron Jackson in there. Hmm, where, do we have Jaron Jackson? Where the heck is Jerry? I don't think we do. That's Paul George. Do we have PG? I don't know if we have him either. Mm -mm -mm. All right, back to Lakers Bolo. Denny Shrews bringing it up. Guarded by Betting with Thurin. Throws it back to LeBron. LeBron over to Anthony Davis. Tough floater over the defense is good. I Arkin gets it to Stinking. Mm, drop! Drops right there for him. All right, Halliburton with the rock. Swigs over to Eggs Benedict. Benedict Bethurin. Pulls it out right there. Throws it back to Halliburton. Right back to Eggs Benedict. Top of the key. Dancing into the paint. Pump fake and then puts up the floater over Anthony Davis. Wanted a foul. Wanted a foul call. There was a little contact. Doesn't get the call. But he gets the bucket. Puts him up nine. Dennis Schroeder into the paint. Tries to win it back to Anthony Davis. But Neesmith with the steal. Throws it to uh, Halliburton who throws it behind the back right to Neesmith, who throws it down. Neesmith having himself a first half, boys. Neesmith balling out here for the Pacers. All right. Troy Brown. Out to LeBron. Braun Braun. Over to Troy Brown. Troy Brown to the rim, trying the righty scoop on the left-hand side, but he smoked it. No good. Halliburton pushing ahead to the corner to, to Neesmith. Neesmith, back to the corner to Halliburton, left wide open, and all oh, that ball is moving around. Pacers up. Most points they've been up by this game, 14. As Denny Schroeds driving baseline, it hits Lonnie Walker on the cut and gets that shot spiked off the ground by Miles Turner. But they call foul. Foul called right there. Pacers don't like it. Miles Turner, of course, doesn't like it. But looks like that's going to send Lonnie Walker to the line, and he definitely likes it. Ron Duffney, appreciate you joining. How you been, man? We are back. Had to be off for a week due to a copyright strike, but now we are back in business. Volcano, appreciate you returning to the show. I'm making a stupid thumbnail just seeing maybe this gets some clicks. Saying in the thumbnail, boycott, boycott the All-Star. As Benedict on the wing, guarded by Lonnie Walker, up 12. Over to Neesmith trying to drive in on Braun. Stops on the dime and his pivot foot slid a little bit right there. Maybe doing a little too much, going a little bit outside of his wheelhouse, trying to drive inside LeBron. I respect the effort, though. I respect the thought. It's a thought that counts. Turn over back to the Lakers, though. Lonnie Walker to the bench now for the Lake Show. All right, Dennis Shooter with the Rock. Over to Anthony Davis. A Disney. Hands off to LeBron, and it's a foul called on Neesmith trying to fight through the screen.
All right. Torrey Brown throws it into Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis gives it to Braun. Braun on the baseline pulls up for the fadeaway. Jay drinks the smooth day over D. Smith right there. Back to a 10 point game. All right. Eggs Benedict. Takes it out to Buddy Heald. Buddy Heald at the logo. Buddy pulls up for the J. No good. No good on that mid-range. Lakers back with the ball. Braun crossover, driving inside, finishes high off glass right there with the scoop. Boobity scoop. Timeout call from Rick Carlisle. Eight-point game right here. Back to a single-digit game. Braun not trying to go out like that. He's still going hard. What do y'all think? Is Westbrook going to get traded? So, seems like at this point, it's like unanimous that every Lakers fan is back to wanting uh, Russell Westbrook traded. Are they going to be able to get a deal done? Maybe has he, by playing a little bit better since he came off the bench, on a rough stretch, stretch again, but... Has he made himself more tradable? Is there a team that would, you know, be willing to take him on? I'm not saying that would want to trade for him. I don't know if I don't think that's realistic, but a team that would maybe reluctantly put up with it with him. I don't know. What do y'all think? All right, as our all star reaction it is now out. Hopefully when this game hits halftime, y'all could check that out. Got go James over 20 and a half. All right, let's see what's yeah right now. Braun Braun. Starting to heat up a little bit as he was sensing his team needing some buckets. LeBron with 11. Pretty early. As long as they keep it close. Good chance he takes over and does something like that by the end. I remember you said that, Mikey. Oh, didn't know she ate Westbrook, but like I said, most it seems pretty close to unanimous amongst Lakers fans at this point. I think it was at the beginning of the season, and then maybe it turned around a little bit when he came off the bench, was doing a little better. And then I think after that Clippers game, I don't know how anybody could still be in on Westbrook, <laughs> at least as a Lakers fan, anyone that wants the Lakers to win. Or I think the snub with All-Star East and West, I just dropped my reaction to it. I was uh, reacting live over here, recorded it and dropped it. But in the, West, in the East, my only snub is James Harden, although the other guys that definitely could have made it, like Brunson and Siakam, the only guy I would take out is DeRozan and I'd replace him with Harden. In the West, give me two. Get J Jaron Jackson all the way out of there. Get Paul George all the way out of there. Put in Foxy. Put in, put, excuse me. Put in Ant-Man. So three snubs total. A couple other dudes that could feel like they deserve to be in and they have a case, but I don't know. I don't really think I would put them in. All right, Nemhard with the ball for the Pacers. Try to hand off to Halliburton, but Troy Brown gets in there and breaks it up. Braun to the paint. Drops off to Anthony Davis, who has a block by Neesmith, grabs his own rebound, and puts it back in. Just statting his pads right there from my man Chucky e. M. Gets his own rebound and floats it in as the Lakers are now in an 8-0 run. After going down the biggest lead of the game, down 14, now back to a six-point game. Tyrese drives to the paint, gives it to Tice. A little short mid-range, Jay. No good. Lakers back with the ball. Braun, Braun with it. Braun on the baseline. Guarded by Neesmith. Backing it. Throwing his cheeks into Neesmith. Fade away one-legged. Jay is an absolute brick right there. Rebounded by Halliburton. Halliburton bringing it up for the Pacers. Over to the wing to Buddy Heels. Buddy, back to Halliburton. Halliburton driving inside, flowing it up and flowing it in. Tyrese. Ty is out there recent after being named to his first All-Star game. I don't know, man. I don't know, Chetta. I didn't necessarily know if he'd be in the All-Star game because, I mean, 
Saboner was their dude, and, you know, there's a lot of talented guys this year, but he deserved it over Paul George and, and Jaron Jackson, although they are both forwards. I'm sure that played a role in it. As Anthony Davis just throws that ball out of bounds, back to the Pacers. Is LeBron going to beat the record tonight? What does he need? Doesn't he need, like, 89, or he cut into that last game? What does he need, like, 60? What? Is, somebody let me know. What does he need? 89, has that been updated again? Or is that old information? Last I knew, he was most likely to make, uh, pass the record against the Buckaroos. It's TJ McConnell over to Buddy Heel, driving inside, finishes with that lefty scoop on Troy Brown. Give him a little ice cream with that scoop as the Pacers are back up double digits. Westbrook, backing on McConnell. Backing in, pulls up for the mid-range J off glass, can't get it to go. Won't drop. Big brick right there. Threw his hands up to the refs. I don't know what kind of call he wanted. Pacers with it as McConnell drives in the paint, slips, and now it's a jump ball. He's looking at the refs. Everybody's looking for some calls to the refs. Jump ball here. Mm -mm -mm. Jerry Jackson defensive menace, but come on. He's not carrying that team. Uh, Cheddar. Jaron Jackson is the third best player. And Fox is not the best player on his team. He's far from carrying his team. I think Fox barely deserved to be, probably deserved to be in. But he's obviously their second best guy. So Bonus is much better than him. So he's definitely not carrying his team. Let's not be ridiculous. Especially when they have a lot of other good players as well. As, you know, I'm sure to everyone's surprise, Anthony Davis wins the jump ball on TJ McConnell. Westbrook to the rim. Can't finish with the lefty scoop, but it's another rebound and bucket. For Chucky M and Anthony Davis. Buddy healed past half court down eight now. Hey, Veronica, appreciate you coming through. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Let's get a 30 piece of likes up in here. We're back for the first time in a week since our copyright strike had us banned. As Nemhard, pump fake. Try to throw into the paint. Nobody there but Dennis Schroeder, though. Denny Schroeder's come away with it. Comes away with it. And Troy Brown wide open, decides not to give it to him, drives baseline, and smokes the lay. Pacers try to throw it at Denise Smith. He can't go up with that pass either. Back to the Lakers. Pretty nasty right there. Hey, appreciate you, Veronica. Big W. Lakers ball down eight. All right, Westbrook walking it up. Picked up by Nemhard. A little over two minutes left in the first half. Westbrook, tween. Try to throw it to the corner. Rui Achimura deflected up and stolen by the Pacers. Thrown ahead to TJ McConnell, who lays it in at the rim. Puts him up. Double digits again. All right, less than two minutes to go now in the first half. Denny Schrude's with it. Dennis the Menace. Takes a screen, crossover, pulls up on the baseline. Mid-range J. Rainbow Road, nothing but net right there. And then McConnell with the ball for the Pacers. Over to Buddy Heel. Buddy. Swings over to TJ McConnell. TJ McConnell. Takes the screen for Miles Turner. Into the paint. Pulls up for the short jumper. No good. Troy Brown comes away with it. Outlet to Dennis the Menace. Dennis the Menace. Into the paint. Dennis the Menace can't finish off glass. Rebounded by Miles Turner. Pacers throwing ahead to Buddy. Buddy back to Nemhard. Nemhard pulls up for three. This Pacers team is flying around, swinging that ball around. Everybody is getting a little piece. Back up double digits. 63 already in the first half. 11 made threes to the Lakers two. As Anthony Davis left wide open for a mid-range jumper that doesn't even hit rim. Maybe barely touched it. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how Anthony Davis just completely lost his jump shot. As McConnell kicks out to Neesmith looking for another three. That's his fourth three of the day, and he was fouled. Neesmith, one, two, three, and a chance for foe right now as he already has four threes and gets the Pacers to 66 points. Could give him 67 here in the first half. Neesmith. 14 points now in the first half. Could get 15 right here. Four threes in a lay.
Appreciate y'all in here with me. Lakers can't finish. You really talking about finishing in, when they're in the first half? I mean, maybe it means finishing the first half, but I mean, they were down by 14 pretty, they were down pretty early. They've been pretty much down the entire game. They were up double digits very early in this game. I don't think it has anything to do with finishing. As Schroeder comes off the screen, pulls up at the free throw line, knocks it down. Back to a 13-point game. Still going to be a double-digit def deficit at halftime, most likely, though. As McConnell at the logo. Picked up by Lonnie Walker. TJ McConnell takes a screen for Daniel Tice. McConnell pulls up for the short J over Anthony Davis. No good. And Lakers with the ball with 12 seconds to go. Westbrook with it. All right, just crossed half court. Westbrook still with the ball. Takes the screen. Westbrook with three to go. Pulls up for three. And I don't know why it was him taking the shot right there. Didn't move that ball once. Westbrook winds the clock out. Pulls up for three. Barely hits rim. And now we're going to halftime. 67 for the Pacers. 54 for the Lakers. All right, it's halftime break. I'm going to put the other scoreboards up during the break. And I will be back at 8, 18 p.m. Eastern time exactly. So hopefully y'all come back at that time. I'd greatly appreciate that. We'll be back live 8, 18 p.m. Eastern time. 14 minutes from now. Greatly appreciate y'all in here with me. We'll be back very soon.